you know, it's sad that so many people are hearing the word no right now. Shalom's falling to Shua. Welcome again to the rock. I think it's really sad that people chose not to move and are now having to reap the consequences of not moving. And I'm talking specifically and solely those in this faith. You know, they held on to that. I don't have to do anything. Yah's got me. Meanwhile, they ate through their food storage. Yah's got me. They burned up their savings. Yah's got me. They burned their bridges and stayed with friends or other brethren. And Yah's got me. And now they're out. And they're asking, well, what do I do now? What do I do? And it's sad because the only thing you can really tell them is, didn't you say Yah had you? The reason why the people that you have asked for help aren't stepping out to help is because you told them Yah had you. So they moved on. They uh, uh, secured their family. And anybody that was willing to... Uh, cling to them or be covered by them they 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 went on without you you see you can't spend up all the resources all the things that you would have to bring to the table you can't blow all those away and then when you realize that the path that you dictated for yourself didn't work now you're willing to listen to somebody else but you want to consume their resources and consume what they have in the meantime Ugh, excuse me, it's cold. And somebody asked me, why do you sniffle so much in your videos? Because I do my videos early in the morning or late at, you know, in, in the afternoon when it's cooling off. But I find that very sad and very telling as to this is the mindset and attitudes of those in this faith who can once again read the Bible and see the stories that are in the book and still maintain this idea that I don't have to do anything and then once you consumed up everything you had now you're willing to do something but that's only because you want to try your path your way and you found out it didn't work and you think that it's now somebody else's job to bail you out men are preserving their households preserving their lands and they live uh, uh with other brethren that's what they're preserving they're not in the business of just helping any old person who want to do things their own way and then when they find out when they were unwilling to i i i, I would encourage you read the book of proverbs chapter one read the last 10 verses look at what yah says to those that would not hear any of his counsel and would not take any of his reproof. He says they're going to eat the fruit of their ways. And I hate saying that. But with what you're seeing in this economy. You know. With what you're seeing that's happening in this world right now. People are closing up shop. And trying to preserve and protect those that have built with them. Am I saying it's too late? No, I'm not saying it's too late. But I am saying is that for a lot of people who still have options, you may want to take a deep, hard look at your situation. And to see the things that people are offering you, you think that they're trying to take advantage of you, when in reality, they truly are offering you help. You just don't see it that way because we don't see help. You know, people can look at certain things in life and they can say, wow, the path that you're on is not a good path. You should probably get off that path before it's too late. But, our, you know, the answer, and I've been that person also, the answer in your pride is, well, I, 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 Yah's leading me, and I know what I'm doing. And Okay, well, if Yah's leading you, hey, I'm not going to step in this. I'm not going to intervene. I'm, I'm not here to intervene between you and Yah. And you find out whether Yah was leading you that way or not because 
either it blows up or it works. But you have to take a look at things and see and, and be prudent and foresee and look ahead and say, is the path that I'm on about to blow up? Have I not heeded wise counsel because I didn't like the person or I didn't like the, the way they said it to me or I don't like that they talk about these things or that things? Listen, the truth is the truth. Whether you like it or not. And people are suffering and it's so sad to see it. It hurts me. That was one of the, th the biggest things I talked about in this channel. I, I, I said the things and I showed the things and I, I, I gave you, you know, the advice. And there are so many other channels before me that said these things. I just want to show people that, hey, you can do it. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can work and get it done. You can work at a job and get it done. You can grind it out at your typical job and you can, you can, you know, people say you're a slave wage uh, earner. Okay, well, you can work that slave wage and save up your slave wage and buy your freedom. How about that? I want to show that, that it could be done. And I don't know how to leave. I don't got to leave. I don't got to leave. And now people are, are trying to rush out. And all the money that they spent while other people were buying their lands and paying off their lands and building their homesteads and building their homes and putting their gardens in, you are still playing. And now you want to take the last hundred dollars after you burn through everything you burn through your friendships you burn through your, your relationships you burn bridges you burn through your, uh, your your savings account you burn through everything because you were so devout in doing it your own way you y'all was never directing the path that you were on and now that everything's burned up now well okay now what can i do now, you know, is that offer still available? Can I just come on? Well, that, what do you bring to the table now? What do you bring to the table? All the things that you were going to bring to the table, you destroyed. You used up. And we have this mindset in the faith that after we use ourselves up, after we use our best years, our, 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 when we're strongest and when we use it all up, now we want to be considered for the thing that y'all already was trying to show you you see that in today's culture as far as and I'm, I'm gonna say this you know this is the falling off short channel and i do keep it real i will keep shit real here women want to consider marriage after they use themselves up men want to consider damn near anything after they've burned everything that they could have possibly burned that's a man and woman thing Women want to go out, get pregnant, you know, uh, have children outside of wedlock, uh, uh, use up the, the, the prime of their time, their, their prime years. And they want to get married now that they have two, three, four children from two, three uh, different, different baby daddies. They use their mind up. They use their body up. They're rebellious. They don't want to uh, obey. They don't want to submit. They don't want to do anything but have their own way. And now they want marriage into their 40s, into their 30s, into their late 30s. That's the mindset that we have. You know, I, 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 you know, I was that person because here I am and I came to the rock in my 30s and I blew so much money. But when y'all, when I finally heard, you know, I had never heard from anybody, hey, you got to make these moves. You got to do these things. When I heard it, I started to do it. As soon as I heard it, that's why I mentioned, you know, a couple of people's names, Pastor Fox and I and, and Pastor Dow. When when they said it and I heard it, I don't care what anybody said. I don't care that people were talking about me. I don't care what it looked like to everybody else. I started moving in that thing. I didn't try to keep operating my own uh, 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 thing, my own path. I heard and I moved. Today, people hear and they just bypass it and they hear and I don't care and they hear and oh, well, that ain't me and they hear and y'all, y'all got me. And then when things turn out so bad, now it's like, okay, now I'm ready to do it. But see, the things that y'all was blessing you with that you could have brought to the table, you used them up. It kind of reminds me of the prodigal son. You used up your inheritance. Now you can come to the table again, but it's not in the position that you want to be. And for some people, they may not even have the chance to get to the table again. 
they've burned through the blessings that Yah has given them. They burned through the opportunities. And now, and what do you, again, read Proverbs chapter one. And I say this is because too many people now are wanting what they could have had had they moved at the time that they should have moved. Now they want to go back. Okay, okay, okay. I want it now. Okay, yeah, give it to me now. Give it to me. All right, I'm ready for it now. Look in this world. People are closing up shop. People are getting their homes and their families ready. And now you want to run and offer yourself. Now you want to offer the help. And I'm hearing this from brothers all over the country. I offered somebody help and, and they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want it. They didn't care. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Now a year later, two years later, three years later, six months later, now they're ready to. But they, what happened is they went out there and they burned their bridges. They burned through everything that they had to offer. They had enough money to, to, to possibly uh, buy a, a shed home and, and, and put some money into the, uh, 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 to the homestead that they were going to be joining, and now they don't have anything. They ate their food storage up. We've got to think, because the times that we are in, we, we need people moving in wisdom. And those men that have moved in wisdom have come out of her and are doing the things. And I know so many brothers that have moved in wisdom for the saving of their house, household, wife, wives, children. And then I know those that decided, well, I'm just going to keep living. I'm going to live it up. I'm going to do it this way. Yah's got me. And when they find out that they were actually acting contrary to Yah, they just want you to forget that it ever happened and open yourself back up to them. What I'm saying to you, to those that, 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 that are in that position, be very careful. Because a lot of these people still really, they really haven't learned their lesson. They're just trying to save their own ass. Even if it costs you yours. All they can conceive right now is themselves. When you were considering them as well, they didn't see that. They thought you were trying to rule them and control them and da 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 And now, when everything's falling apart, now they want your offer. Yeshua says he stands at the door and knocks. Here's a question I ask for all y'all. If you look at all the parables of y'all, look at the, the five wise and the five foolish virgins. When the bridegroom came, you were either ready or you weren't. You were either in the wedding party or you weren't. This is not a thing where you get to decide at your whim. You need to take the offer when it's offered to you. Look at all the healings that Yahshua did. You were either ready for it or you weren't. Look at the story of, it was, I can't remember the king's name, that uh, Elijah told to dip in the Jordan River. Gosh, I can't remember his name. Dipping it seven times. Either you obey or you don't. That's really the choice that we have. Choose you this day whom you will serve. I take that to mean in everything in life, choose today what you're going to do. Because you may not get that offer again. Bless you. Shalom.